I'm Jack Shaw, and I'm the producer of Our Modern Lives. I'm a very social person, insatiably. I have nine close groups of friends on campus with at least four people in each group and as many as 22. You know how some people have really good knife skills? I have really good people skills. I'm the youngest of 12 different biracial adopteds in a family of old, rich Jews, so I've gotten really good at endearing myself to people as I stealthily work my way past them to the top. I've gotten straight A's on every assignment in every class I've ever taken, and I plan to continue that for my entire career. Jack is the most popular kid on campus, which is actually so funny to me because we're best friends. Like I said, I have a lot of close friends, and I consider myself equally close to each best friend. I'm really good at budgeting my time. Some people have called my GCAL sociopathic. I remember my old Jewish father. He looked me right in the eye before my ethnic bar mitzvah, and he said, Jack, your old dying mother and I adopted you out of the kindness of our rich Republican hearts. Don't waste the opportunity that we've given to you. And that's something I think I've tried to embody throughout my entire resume. Oh my god, Jack's resume is crazy. It took me so long to memorize. Before he even came to college, he had a supporting role in the short-lived Disney Channel original series, Dragon and Me. He's in the coolest acapella group on campus, Pitch Perfect Glee. PPG is the best. We tour all over the world and we touch each other everywhere. And sometimes we can get so real. I just don't know what you're thinking. Fine. Stephanie just broke up with me. How do I say goodbye to what we have? It's kind of crazy, you know? Seeing Chris be so open and vulnerable with us it really got me thinking. I am president of the Biracial Students Alliance. I am the co-director of the Drama Coalition and part of an organization that narrates movies to people with glaucoma. I'm in an experimental art group where we make sculptures out of wax and we just put hair dryers on them to see sort of how the persona changes. Uh, I'm part of a club where we take diseased feral cats and release them into city parks just so they can be free in their last few weeks. The thing that I'm the most proud of here is I'm the college council president. I was elected to the office of college council president by a margin of 60% because of a hardline policy on water pressure in campus showers and because of an intense branding campaign thanks to me and my team. Thanks to all my amazing friends and all the organizations that I'm a part of, we got hashtag Shawsome trending before the school year even started. We also pioneered a technique called human graffiti where actual students were used as a venue for promotional material. <laughs> By the time election day rolled around, when people got to the booths, they could only remember one name, and it wasn't Mahesh Shukla. I could probably go into politics and make a huge difference somewhere down the line, but I've already accepted a position next year in consulting. I want money now, not power later. Last summer I landed an internship at Queer Eye, a prestigious all-gay consulting group. We do a lot of our consulting work pro bono. 
Where are you going? Oh, Jesus. In that. Jack was generous enough to play the Medici to my humble Michelangelo um, and donate to our little production much of his ample profits from Hook App. I'm actually a comp sci major, and Hook App was my entry into our school's app design contest. Not only did it win, but it kind of went viral. HookApp is a romantic social media app in the vein of Tinder or Grindr, but HookApp takes the idea a step further. You see, when you log in to HookApp, HookApp will find other users in your immediate vicinity. You can kiss them or you can diss them. If you diss them, they don't receive any notification at all. But if you kiss them, and they kiss you too, HookApp will provide you directions to the geographical midpoint for the kissing transaction to occur. For example, See you, Nate. See you around, Jack. We have kissers on college campuses across the nation, and it's already led to two engagements. Do you find yourself attractive? Um, that's hard to say. The way I look is fascinating to me, for sure, but I think that's everyone. I'll find myself staring to a mirror or a camera in selfie mode for 10 to 20 minutes before I really know what's happening, and then I just find selfies that I don't remember taking. It's like a trance. It's like, this is me, this is my face, this is what I, I have. But no, I don't think I'm anything special. I've just spent so much time staring at myself that I know how to accentuate my features with different sorts of clothing, accessories. I know what color to wear, size, the shape, the texture. I know what angles I like to be seen from. I know what faces I like to make in social media. But. I'm a hard worker, and I've worked hard on how I look. I'm Jack Shaw, and I'm the producer of Our Modern Lives.